Well, today is day 62 and we're reading Psalm 104. To be honest, a lot of things in this Psalm kind of stood out and, and for a moment I pondered them and then kind of my eyes moved on to the next thing and my mind grabbed onto the next thing. I love how it began to sing, praise the Lord, O my soul. Lord, my God, you are very great. How cool is that? You're very great, God. There's not, no one to compare with you. There's, there's no rival that God has that's kind of equal in power. And there's certainly no one above him. He's just very great. But then I came down to verse 15. And verse 15 really spoke to me. It's speaking of God and, and how complete he is in providing for us. It talks about the way he waters the, the mountains. It talks about the way that he causes the grass to grow so the cattle can be fed. So caring. He's very great. And then in verse 15, it says that, that God makes wine that gladdens the human heart. He makes oil that causes our face to shine and bread that sustains our heart. I just think the care that is communicated here is so significant that, that God is not a celestial being who is absentee, who, who began the work of creation and then backed way out of things. He's intricately involved in the moments of our life, right down to the things that we need wine to gladden our heart, oil to cause our face to shine, and bread to sustain us. God cares about the day-to-day -day needs in your life. He really, truly does. And if you can understand that his very greatness doesn't actually draw him back from you, it, it draws him near to you. He's on your side. He's with you. He's for you. He cares. He wants to meet all your needs. Mm -hmm.